Okay, so microplastic stuff uh, is maybe a bit scattered around. So our air sampler is at the moment here in the tech lab. Uh, the bulk of our microplastics uh, equipment logistics stuff is going to be in the prep lab here. So um, manifold, etc. cetera. Um, filters and stuff, Emily? You'll find them based on who bought them. So if Claire bought them, they'll be in Claire's cabinet. If I bought them, they'll be in this cabinet. Um, if there's extras or like grant funded for capstone students, you'll find them in here. Or sometimes like down here. Well, these are rain funnels. We're all out of filters. This is all empty boxes of filters that we have used. So we probably need more filters. Uh, if you're talking about the, of the, um, of the, uh, poly, uh, the poly, of the, yeah, poly, poly, why can I, why can I think right now? I know what you mean. I, I can't talk. Polycarbonate, no. Polycarb, yeah. wait, PC, PC, yeah, yeah PC, okay. Polycarbonate. And then, uh, so this is, so some microplastic stuff is in your? Yeah, this is like now red and air stuff. Um, this is where the, the air counter is. Um, yeah, what it's called. Uh, wow. Volume uh, <laughs> metric or whatever we call. Yeah, this is more filters, aluminum, polycarbonate, and gold. Gold. The incredibly expensive. Yeah. If people were gonna rob us, that's what they would come <laughs> in. And take. That's what they would take. This is, I guess, sometimes we use this for chemistry. No, this is like chemistry. Okay. And then this is Claire's cabinet which has the sieves for microplastics that are hers, not for everyone, and um, all of her microplastic stuff. And then there is more filter cups up there from leftover. Yeah, I guess that would be it. That's, that's what I would say. And then we have um, chemical storage in here yeah. for some things. Uh, solventy kind of stuff, and then we have um, our uh, uh, more. So yeah, the hydrogen peroxide. Do we use that for microplastics? For digestion. For digestion. Yeah. Potassium hydroxides right here. Zinc chloride. This is Claire's startup actually. This is potassium hydroxide just concentrated. Um, also for digestions. So anything that's corrosive is going for microplastics. More hydrogen peroxide, potassium. Okay. And then we actually have a third cabinet of acid corrosives because we can't the base and the acid separate. This is where you're gonna find the squirt protocol digestion. So this has the sulfuric acid, the Fenton's reagent. And this is this stuff is kind of scary, so I would not recommend students like the sulfuric acid yep. comes in here. That is that is the digestion stuff. And in here, this blue bucket is everything you need for Nile Red. Okay. Okay. And I don't know why it's in the blue bucket, but it helps keep it organized. <laughs> okay, so that's our microplastic. Uh, filtering processing stuff in here oh and then we have i guess we have in here we have our and here we have our pods so pod one and pod two which will be broken down when students start coming in um, but that's our our These are physical all separation processing facility the squirt sieves that we ordered so these are research grade. Um, for microplastics. For microplastics, yeah. All right, cool. Sims, sims, sims. Any other microplastic things we should talk about? I don't think so.